Do you want to learn how to use the ROS1 bridge in order to send ROS2 commands to a simulation running in ROS1? Then stay with me. This video is for you. Hello ROS developers and welcome to the ROS2 tutorials video series. If you want to learn anything about ROS, this is your channel. ROS Navigation, ROS with Drones, ROS for Autonomous Cars, everything ROS is here. Learn ROS step by step and push your ROS learning in just 10 minutes of video. I am Alberto and today we are going to talk about the ROS1 bridge package. Um, so yeah, basically this package, the main function is to bridge communication between ROS2 and ROS1. So for instance, you can, you can start a simulation in ROS1 and then from a ROS2 environment, you can publish into the topics of that simulation in ROS1 or subscribe and, and read the data of that topics. Yeah, And we are going to do that, as always, by doing a, a demonstration in ROSDS. But before anything else, remember to visit our Robot Ignite Academy, our online academy where you will find practical online ROS courses using simulated robots. No installation required. You will find a link to this academy on the video description. Yep. And now, yes, let's go to the video. And as always, we are going to go to the ROS uh, Development Studio. And here, I have it already here uh, open it. So here I have a ROS jet, which I am going to share with you also in the video description so that you can reproduce all that I'm going to do here. But uh, it's quite simple at this, uh, uh, at this point. So it just has a simulation here of a drone, of the air drone by Pirate. And as you can see, this is an Ubuntu 18 plus ROS2 dashing environment. So we have uh, already a ROS2 dashing version, but it also has a ROS melodic installs on it. Yeah. So the first thing we are going to do to start, start the simulation, which by default is going to run in uh, ROS Melodic. Yeah, this simulation is not available yet in ROS2, the Parrot uh, Air Drone simulation. Uh, so we are going to launch it using uh, ROS Melodic. Yeah, there we have it. Okay, so Now, let's open a shell, first of all. And here, if we uh, check what contents we have here, you can see that we have here a Basher C bridge. Basher C... <coughs> Basher C ROS1 and Basher C ROS2, yeah? So basically, this Basher C bridge, um, you can use it in order to uh, launch the ROS1 bridge, yeah? We are going to do all, all this now, so don't worry. Then, obviously, the Basher C ROS1 is, uh, you can use it in order to use ROS1 commands. And the Basher C ROS2, you can uh, use it in order to start ROS2 commands. So basically, let's have a look here, for instance, at the Basher C bridge. Basically, here, this is the main important part that we are go you are going to need to do always. Uh, in any installation. So first of all, you need to source uh, Melodic, the ROS1 version, and then you need to source uh, the ROS2 version, which I have here Crystal, but in this case, this is pointing to, let's modify it, in fact. Let's put here Dashing. Okay, so we source first ROS1 and then ROS2. Then here I'm just sourcing some workspaces from ROS2 and ROS1 for simulations, but this is currently not needed at this point, but in case you add uh, other packages, etc., uh, this will have you cover it, yeah? But the most basic case use is to first source uh, ROS1, uh, in this case Melodic, and then source ROS2, which is those uh, ROS dashing, yeah? So for instance, let, let's do it like this, in fact. Uh, sorry, um, yeah, let me save it. So, I'm going to source Melodic, first of all. Now I'm going to source ROS2, 
which is dashing in this case. And now I can run ROS, ROS to run ROS1 bridge and executable. Oops, dismiss. A dynamic bridge. Yeah? So as you can see here, I'm, uh, I have sourced first ROS1, but later I have sourced ROS2. So now I'm able to use ROS2 commands. So I'm using this ROS2 run and I'm launching this dynamic bridge node from the ROS1 bridge package. Yeah? So let me start this. Actually, there's one step more I need to do. In this case, maybe it's not necessary, but I will explain it anyways. So after sourcing uh, uh, ROS1 and ROS2, you need to make sure that the ROS master UI is pointing uh, to the proper di direction. Yeah, let me show you. So here, if we check the ROS master URI variable, we will see that it's HTTP master uh, 11311. Yeah, so we need to uh, make sure that this is like this. So we are going to copy and paste this here. We are going to export this value to the ROS master URI in order to make sure that this is properly set. And now, yes, we are going to ROS to run ROS1 bridge and dynamic bridge. There we go. So let's start the our ROS1 bridge. There are all the all the bridges created and now from this shell, for instance, I'm going to source ROS2. I can I can al I could also use here this Visual C ROS2, which is more complete, but well for this demo. I'm just going to source ROS2 to make things clearer. So, pretty ROS dashing local setup dot bash. There we go. And now from here, I'm going to publish into, let's say, uh, ROS2 topic pub into the drone takeoff topic which uses, I know this, it uses standard messages empty, empty messages, and let's complete it like this. So with this, as you can see, I am here publishing from ROS2, yeah? So I'm going to publish here into the topic, which is running ROS1. Let me open another shell in order to show you this. So. So here from Ross Melodic, yeah, I have uh, I have all these topics running from Ross One, which are the ones from the simulation, and as you can see here, I have the takeoff topic, Ross topic info drone takeoff. This topic uses standard messages, empty messages, as you can see. So all of the all of this is in Ross One in Ross Melodic, yeah. So now with this bridge, what I'm going to do is to allow to publish into this ROS1 topics, these topics that are running in ROS1, in the simulation, from a ROS2, from a ROS2 environment, which I have here, as you can see, yeah? So here I'm executing ROS2 commands, I have sourced ROS dashing, ROS2 dashing, and I'm going to publish into this drone takeoff and standard message empty, yeah? And this should make the robot, the, the drone, which is running in ROS Melodic, take off. Yeah, so let's publish this and see what happens. As you can see here, uh, the bridge is created, the connection is created, and the drone take off, takes off. Yeah, excellent. So this is working properly. We can see here as well that the bridge for topic drone takeoff has been created. Yeah. And we can test the same, for instance, for the land topic in order to make the drone land. There we go, and we will see here as well that the connect the the connection is created. 
<coughs> there we have it, drone land. So yeah, this is working uh, perfectly, very nice, so the demo worked out. And as you can see, this is uh, very, very simple. So basically, all you need to do is to, first of all, start a simulation in uh, Rust Melodic, which in, in case that you use Rust DS, this is by, by default, when you start a Rust 2 dashing AMI, it will be sourced in Rust Melodic, so that you can use uh, simulations from Rust Melodic. In this case, the Parrot Air Drone. So, yeah, first of all, you start the simulation in Rust Melodic. Then you need to... Let me stop this already. The bridge. Then you need to start the bridge. And for that, you need to do a source of Melodic first and Dashing later, or ROS1 first and ROS2 later. And you need to make sure that the ROS Master URI is pointing to the direction where the ROS core of the simulation is running, yeah? So this simulation, in this case, it was running in this ROS master URI. The ROS core was running here. So we need to make sure that this is like this. Uh, and, and then we can finally start the dynamic bridge from the ROS1 bridge package. Then when this is done and working, you will see all of these messages with all the bridges created. Then you can start uh, another shell, source ROS2, and start publishing, subscribing, whatever you want, from this ROS2 to the ROS1 simulation. Yeah, so this is basically one use case. There are many, but this is uh, an interesting use case for the ROS1 bridge. And yeah, I hope you liked the video. You learned that you learned something new. If, if it was like this, uh, please give us a like. Uh, subscribe to our channel. We are publishing uh, videos every day, almost, live classes, many, many interesting content related to ROS1, ROS2 as well, and robotics in general. And yeah, see you in the next video. Goodbye.